The much-awaited spaceship has been the talk of the world ever since SpaceX announced it years ago. But despite the hype surrounding it, its launch date has constantly seen delays and looking at the current progress, it seems like we will not see it launch soon. Today, we'll be talking about why SpaceX continuously delayed the first orbital launch of the Starship. I'm sure by now, most of you already know about the Starship and are waiting for its launch. But this begs the question, why was this launch continuously delayed? What were the factors that led to this? Well, stick around till the end as we answer these questions and more as we delve into the specifics surrounding the Starship launch. Without further ado, let us begin. I'm sure by now you all must be waiting for the Starship. SpaceX and Elon Musk have been teasing the spacecraft for ages now. It was initially planned to launch in late 2022, but it has been delayed yet again. I know you all must be confused about why this occurred. If you think about it, it is quite frustrating. Well, when you hear the long list of issues Starship had to face, you'll understand why SpaceX had to delay it. Let me go through them one by one. Well, first of all, further tests had to be taken to ensure that the booster was working properly. You could argue that already enough time has been taken to ensure that everything is working fine, but you all need to remember that this Starship has a lot of power. And with so much power being generated, one needs to fully make sure that no negative consequences occur. With so much heat and fire, things are bound to go out of control. This can be demonstrated by the fact that SpaceX hasn't even fired up all of these 33 extremely powerful Raptor engines. These tests are known as static fire tests, and with the help of these tests, SpaceX can determine whether they can control these Raptor engines or not. Once they manage to blast 33 engines all at once, only then they can truly unleash the power of the Starship. And because these tests take a lot of time, hence, its launch debut has been delayed. Another reason for the delay has been the fact that the Booster 7 needs to change its panels. Panels are the outer layer of the structure, and for some reason, they need replacement. This was confirmed when it was reported that SpaceX was taking back its Booster 7 to its factory so that the panels can be replaced. You must be thinking this is such a minor issue, it shouldn't take much time. But in a spacecraft, every little detail counts, such as the aerodynamics of the whole craft. If there is even a slight miscalculation, for example, if the panels are not at the perfect angle, it can have adverse effects. That's why it takes time to undergo a structural change. Speaking of structural changes, another reason for the delay of SpaceX was its planning. Initially, it was reported that carbon fiber would be used for the structure of the Starship. This was because carbon fiber is known to be an extremely light and strong material and is perfect if you want to minimize weight which maximizes speed and ensures durability, which is required as the rocket shoots through the atmosphere at crazy speeds. A strong material is needed to withstand the wind force. Well, carbon fiber would have been perfect, but it only has one issue. It is highly expensive. Its costs, on top of the astronomical amount of expenditure the Starship has undertaken in its development, were too much for SpaceX to afford. That's why they shifted to the next big thing, steel, which is heavier, but it's way cheaper. I'm pretty sure they did a cost-benefit analysis and determined that the increase in cost was not worth the decrease in weight. However, this change in material resulted in a lot of time being lost which further explains the delay. Another reason for the delay has to be the wet dress rehearsals that are compulsory before an orbital launch attempt. You must be wondering, what's a wet dress rehearsal? Well, it's a part of the launch vehicle system tests. Tests of the launch vehicle systems determine whether a launch system is ready to send the payload into space safely. Before launch, launch vehicles go through system testing. As you can imagine, this takes time. That's not all, as prior to launch, a fully built launch vehicle and its associated ground support equipment undergoes wet dress rehearsal and a more complete static fire testing. This can cause a lot of delays, as it is a repetitive process, as the trial and error method are needed to perfect the testing phase, and this usually takes many attempts. 
After this process is completed, only then can we launch the Starship into orbit. Now after all these delays, when will the Starship finally launch? Well, according to the Federal Aviation Administration, the Starship might finally launch in the early quarter of 2023. Let's just pray that this isn't delayed again, fingers crossed. In the end, I would just like to say that no matter how much time it takes, Starship will be a huge success. Elon Musk has shown that no matter what tasks or whatever endeavors he pursues, he dedicates his life to it and makes sure that the project is a success. He has proven that with Tesla, in which when the world was using combustion engines, he sought to perfect the battery-powered car and managed to mass produce and sell it. Now the world is following his initiative, with almost every car manufacturer shifting towards the battery-powered engine. I'm certain that he will replicate the same with SpaceX, with Starship being its prized asset, and show the world that he can achieve his dream of reaching Mars. With 33 Raptor engines as of right now, the Starship is the only spacecraft capable of reaching Mars. And if SpaceX manages to perfect its design, I'm sure it will accomplish Musk's dream. Right now, we can only hope and pray. I think I've explained everything there is to know regarding the delays that the Starship's first orbital launch has suffered. But if you're still confused and have many questions regarding the matter, do let us know in the comments down below. We value the feedback of our esteemed subscribers, so do not hesitate to do so. And I almost forgot, do let us know if you want any similar stories in future videos. We want to bring you what you want. That's it for the video, I hope you liked and enjoyed this one. Please let me know by pressing the like button, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Till then, take care of yourself, and we will see you guys in the next one.